Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another Bucket Spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button in below because I do these every week. Feel free to suggest a plugin you'd like me to do because I will give you a shout out when I get to it. Unlike this week, this one was actually just requested by one of the managers or authors or uh, maintainers, I think is the word they want to use. Uh, Dutchy1001 requested of this uh, because him and Razor Racks have been updating U Skyblock. If you didn't, if you weren't aware, U Skyblock or Ultimate Skyblock was removed from public availability last summer because Talibrek was just dealing with some of the, some uh, like kickback on it, and he just he didn't have the time for it, so he just removed it. it. It wasn't like a selfish thing of him like wanting to keep it to himself. That that was just what was going on. So that's cool, and he's kind of like approved this this thing. In fact, he actually uses their build. They've updated it for 1.8, and uh, I think that's a really cool compliment to these guys and what they're doing so that's really awesome so let me interrupt myself really quick I am starting to move on and I didn't explain exactly what this plugin is about and I've remind, remembered later on while recording it so anyway here it is this plugin is called ultimate skyblock what it does is it brings skyblock to a multiplayer server kind of like uh, the single player skyblock where you start on this tiny little island and then you have to build out this allows you to do that alongside of other people within a protected area where you can even actually add players and to your island to give them access but other people can visit and they can't do anything on your island but they can just check it out it also adds challenges so that there's like a directed line of of stuff that you can do in it it's a super cool plugin there's even there's a built-in GUI which I think is awesome and there's a lot of other skyblock plugins out there like that like this which does not um, have that and then in this version we also have added perks and donor perks which I'll show you guys later on in the video back to myself a few things that this requires is it does require you to use spigot 1.8 or bucket 1.8 uh, you need to get world guard 6 plus world edit 6 plus vault 1.5 plus and then it also i i don't know if it requires it but it's highly recommended that you use multiverse which probably already are i don't know anyway if you aren't using any of those and you comment in the jibbles below i'm probably not going to respond so because <laughs> you need those to get this working everything's updated to 1.8 guys start updating your stuff to 1.8 it does hook into scoreboard stats, which is really cool, and leader heads, which is a premium plugin on Spigot, but uh, it's there. So first thing we're going to talk about here is permissions, because those are the big deal. So most player permissions, you probably want to give your default users USB.island.star and USB.party.star. That will give them all the options to create, info, set home, warp, and then also included in this version is you can ban players from your island, which is super cool. So you can have an open warp, but you don't let that one person on because they're a jerk and they wreck your stuff crops and 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 all that but um although i think this is locked down in this version where other players can't trample your crops or kill your your cows but anyway uh usb.party.star gives them options to create a party uh join a party kick anybody from their party and then you also have usb.extra.add warp that will let people open up the warp on their island so other players can warp to their island probably want to give them that and then this is probably a donor option but it's up to you usb.biome.biome name so that uh, those players can ha switch their biomes on their islands to those things um, and then this is definitely a donor option is usb.extra.hunger that's going to reduce hunger usage by 25 percent so then then if you use hunger two, that's going to reduce them by 50%, hunger three, 75, hunger four, uh, they don't lose hunger. So another donor option is you can have players with certain permission nodes start with different schematic islands than the default one, which is really cool. If you give them the USB dot schematic dot schematic name. Now, the way that you create a custom schematic island is you need world edit to do it. You create your island, you select the area uh, you know, uh, but here we go. You select the two corners. It's actually, if it's three dimensional space, it's like this. But anyway, you select those two corners and then you do uh, slash slash copy and then slash slash schem or schematic space save and then the name that you want to name it. Then you copy that into the schematics folder in your 
uh, alt U Skyblock folder, which you'll see in a bit in the config file. And then basically in that schematic, you need at least one bedrock and one chest within 15 blocks of each other. So the bedrock will denotes the center of their island. It doesn't have to be in the center of the, the schematic island, but uh, if the protection will be out from that from that bedrock and then the the chest marks their spawn location so continuing on permissions we have our mod permissions you have usb.mod.star will give them access to go to update generate top 10 bypass other users protections it will allow them to force challenge completions for other people or reset challenges so you can uh, you can modify those depending on how much you want to give to your mods, and then you have your admin ones, USB.admin.star, which gives them reload, remove, which removes the player but not the island, and then delete, which actually removes the island. And then you have register. So if there's some sort of issue, you can then assign that person to a new island, and it'll assign them to the a bedrock within 15 blocks. The bedrock denotes which island you're working from. So. We've been kind of removing bedrock sometimes, but it's not recommended to remove bedrock from the builds. Before we get into talking about demonstrating it and showing you the config file, if you want nether portals in Skyblock, you want to add the multiverse nether portals plugin, and then you want to create a new world called, M you know, you do MV create skyworld underscore nether, and then the nether, which is the generator. What that'll do is automatically connect those two. That's all you need to do. So multiverse uh, nether portals just allows a world to look for another world with the underscore nether. So you can have as many nethers alongside of each other, which is really cool. Um, all right, so let's get into demonstrating a little bit. So um, we've started out, if you do island, you don't have an island yet. So you can do start an island, you can join an island, or you can look at island help, which I don't think actually, oh, I don't have permission. I don't know what permission node that is, but anyway, we're going to just click on start an island. IS space create also works. Now, if you notice, we're not using, this is not like the old style. Uh, this is, we didn't change anything in the config to move, to change it to old style. This is, this is just the new style. And then here's all of our starting stuff. So based upon all this, you can get started on your skyblock, which is really cool so then you have your challenges just like before you can do your is and you can you have access to all of these these um menus so one thing to note is you got your perks and your donors perks now this didn't really work in the previous version but um dutchy and them have come up with a way to get around it the first thing you need is you need a supporting plugin called chess commands which I've done a, a tutorial on. I'll put a link here. You can check that out to figure out how to set that up. But basically, you create a menu called perks.yml, and then when you do is, it's going to load that perks, which I don't have permission to do it. I have it set up and working, but I don't have permission to do it. I'll show you guys that in a moment. So I think that's about all. I'll let you guys, I'm, this isn't really a player tutorial, so I'll let you guys figure out and play around with that menu system. That GUI is awesome. It's my favorite part about this whole plugin. All right, guys, so that's about all that I got to go over in the game. So let's hop over to the config file and check out how things go down in there. Here we are in our server folder. We're going to go into plugins and then we have a whole lot of, this is like a build that I've been using over and over again. So anyway, uh, we just want to go into use skyblock. And then this is kind of where you put, this is where you put your schematics. You put them in there. The main one we're going to look at is config, but you have your challenges. You can modify any of the challenges. I'm not really going to go over that because you can just kind of look at what's there and kind of build off of that. Um, if you want to modify that, and then um, we're not really going to talk about that. You can also modify how it calculates each island level um, by weighting different kinds of materials. You can set that up in here as well but we're really only going to go over the config file. So here we go. You have your max party size. You can do set that at four or you can change it bigger. You can change the name of the sky world. Now by, uh, by default, it's just sky world. Um, if you change this after you've already started, it's going to generate a new world. Now your spawn size, that is the, the area around the spawn around zero, zero islands will not be generated. So you can set a spawn area, um, in the world, but don't set it as your spawn world. Otherwise you're going to have troubles. I know. 
So then you have your cooldown restart. How long before a person can restart your command? You can extend that out to reduce people from just restarting or uh, stop people from just restarting their island and farming uh, materials from that. You can set that to restrict how often they can change the biome. It's all in seconds, so be sure to calculate that. So now this is where we set our schematic default schematic so if you're not going to change this it's going to use the default one that you saw earlier if you want to use the old style sky block uh area you can come scroll down here to uh, use old islands you could change this to true and then the default sky block will be the old version so that's up to you guys if you want to have your own custom one that they start with you can set that in here like i said you can also then modify um their stuff for any any particular person you give them the permission note so anyway number of block distance between islands this is from the, the this is uh i believe this is from the bedrock to bedrock so keep that in mind it's um and then your height this is the y coordinate where they will be started um then yeah we're not really going to talk too much about this you got your chest items and then you have uh add extra items so you can set this to true and then you can give these permission nodes to donors and it's going to add these extra items to their chest so if you give them usb dot small bonus they're going to be added these things on the start which i think that is grass this gives them 16. so yeah that's kind of how that goes protection range so it's going to protect um 105 so that even when they reach the end of their island which is at 100 they won't be able to build out into that area. So there's like a 10 block space in between all islands that um, does not, people can't build in. So you got your allow PVP, which you can deny. You have your allow island lock. Use all, use island level, which you probably want to leave true. Use top 10, because that's really cool to see who's, who's got the biggest islands. Top 10 timeout. So this is a new feature for this version is it now will automatically generate the top 10 list every 20 minutes, which is really cool, uh, which is before you had to you had to do that manually as an admin. So you can also auto refresh player score. Now, this will kind of cause server lag for the bigger for the bigger islands. So you might not want to put this in place, but it would be cool. Maybe put it in every 24 hours so that if people don't do IS info, it'll automatically refresh and it'll automatically update the top 10 which is kind of cool now here's uh, extra menus now i don't think it actually works like this in here but you do need to give the permission nodes group donor and the correct perk permission nodes in there so you have a uh, send to spawn so if you want to uh, when people die or they do sl slash spawn um and you hit true that'll send them back to the actual spawn rather than their island spawn probably want to leave that false obsidian to lava that's pretty self-explanatory they get a bucket they right click on obsidian and it turns it back to lava which is really cool now here's your protection area which is an addition in this version it allows you to protect uh visitors from not doing things on other people's islands which is really nice like i said also you can still ban people from your island in this version that's a huge upgrade in this version if you don't know all right and then you can set the purge level so what this means is when the plugin goes to clean out all their stuff um like old islands stuff like that it won't purge islands above this level so to level 10 is they've been on for I don't know, maybe like an hour and been playing on their island, expanding it. So that's kind of a good indication. You might want to up that if you want um, that kind of stuff. So let's talk about those perks real quick. So if we go back to our plugins, we're going to go into chess commands. What you want to do is go into your menu and you want to create perks.yml. Um, and this will this will put it in place of that perks menu you can also put in uh, donors which will be in place of the donors perk now like you said or like you saw in this config file they need group donor and then i believe they probably need and you can set those those menus up now i'll put a link in the the in the jibbles below to uh, a website that explains exactly how to set those all up um you probably want to do that. It takes a lot of work to configure the, these menus. I have an example here, but I'm not going to share it out because this is the example we use on my server. But um, with this, you can you can give 
they can purchase different kinds of perks in games. You can even let them have purchase other biomes with in-game money, which is kind of cool. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully that was helpful. I know it was a little bit longer, but this is a really nice plugin. There's a lot to it. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll do my best to answer, but you might be better uh, posting on the bucket page that's linked. And um, yeah, so this is Costume McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.